Okay, gang, uh, this is 7.3. This is special factoring techniques. Um, so if you have a perfect square of sum, this will factor into this. If you have a perfect square of difference, this combination factors into this. I talked a little bit about this when we were multiplying. Uh, but my major note here is that if you're making the table, this will, that I showed you last class, or if you just do it the simpler way, if the leading coefficient is a 1, you'll get the same answer without using the formulas. So if you like the formulas, use them. If not, then just do it the way I was showing you earlier. So I need something that multiplies to 49, adds to neg negative 14n, that kind of idea. You can still use the techniques I was showing you earlier. Um, if you are using the formula, what my brain does to sort of get the answer quickly is it just takes the square root. The square root of this is 7, and this is 2 times what the square root was. Same thing here. The square root of this is 6. This is twice what 6 is. It's just saying that you have twice the middle. And since the um, the leading coefficient is a 1, it's just coming off of the 6 on the end. Uh, here, this one's going to be square root of this is 3k. Square root of this is 5. And then this makes 15. Twice 15 is 30. So it just depends, and you still have the issue where you're going to have common factors mixed in with all of this. So I would take out a 4p. Plus 9. And then if you have a common factor, it just hangs out. It just hangs out in the front, okay? Um, again, I'm not going to super stress the techniques. You can sort of see the combinations, and if you don't see the combinations, just do it the way I showed you before. It has to multiply to 49, but add to a negative 14, multiply to 30, two numbers, multiply to 36, adds to a 12. This one doesn't have a leading coefficient of a 1, so you'd have to multiply this times this, has to add to, to this times this, has to, the product of that has to add to that. Those kind of ideas that I showed you in the last section. Okay, um, yeah, I guess that's just sort of the best way to go over that. There's also some videos online if you want some more, uh, you know, detail on it. Uh, this is a difference of perfect square, so it's sort of the same idea. My brain thinks a lot in square roots when I do these. Square root of this is x, square root of this is 5. So it's going to look like twins except opposite in the middle. Same thing here, going to look like twins. I just go with the square root. 7 times 7 makes 49, 11 times 11 makes 129, and just make sure they're opposite sign. Uh, you could have fractions, that's possible. And again, my brain just does the square root of that stuff. That's how I find it easiest to do. All right, I'm going to come back with one more video to do the cube, which I'll spend a little more time on. Uh, these formulas, if you're going to use the table for this one, the, the middle has to add to zero because there's no linear term on these. Okay, gang, I'm going to end this video here.